Well, hello, my fellow Canonites, and welcome to the very first Halo Canon Let's Lore. For those who were who missed the announcement, Let's Lore will be a fun little, um, well, obviously a Let's Play, but with a fancy new title, because if I called it Let's Plays, I would just be unoriginal. Sarcasm aside, no, Let's Lore will be a series of Let's, of let's Plays where I play through games and talk about Halo lore as we go. Figured... Obviously, today we're starting with Spartan Assault, mainly because it is the most recent game to be released. Uh, and it's a nice, small, simple one, considering this is my first Let's Play of any kind. I uh, figured it'd be a simple one to start with. Speaking of Halo lore and whatnot, not in this cutscene that we're watching now, but the previous one, you'll notice that Spartan Assault, build as a real game, or build in the real world as a tablet game, is in fact a tablet game in the Halo universe. Which, I don't know, that's just, that's just, that's just like, I, I don't have, I don't have words, I just find that hilarious. You know, it's a nice little bit of humor on 343's part, I think. You know, here, you like tablet games? We get, made you a tablet game that you can play while you're playing your tablet game, so you're playing a tablet game while you're playing your tablet game. Yes. Anyway, here we are with our very first character, the first character we're introduced to, um, Spartan Edward Davis. Naturally, we don't learn his name in this game, that name in this game, we just know him as Spartan Davis. Uh, we learned that from an Xbox Live avatar, as where we get most of our Halo information. Thank you, Xbox Live avatars, you have saved our, no you have given us brand new knowledge. Anyway, one interesting thing about this game, and it, more accurately, uh, with this character, Davis, is... If you've ever read the Halo Evolution uh, story, uh, Palace Hotel, there is a character... In, there are two characters in there, one one of which is named Davis, and the other which is named Palmer. This has led to some speculation that they, in fact, are the same characters in Spartan Assault. You know, the Palmer from theirs are Sarah Palmer. Um, they have She had a very similar description to... The Sarah Palmer, or to the way Sarah Palmer appears in in this game, and of course the fact that there is a character named Davis too definitely adds to the conspiracy. However, there is also you must also take note of the Halo Four story page, which states that Palmer was a lieutenant for most of her career. Though this is again contradicted by the comic. Because I can't really, I don't really want to say how I really feel about it. Halo Initiation. Where Palmer is introduced to us as a, I can't remember, I think it's a, I think it's a Lance Corporal, which is, or, yeah, I believe it's a Lance Corporal. She's introduced as a Lance Corporal, which, you know, obviously, if she were once a lieutenant, this probably wouldn't be the case. Um... But it does fit, it, again, it does fit in line with uh, the idea that Palmer is the same, that Sarah Palmer is the same Palmer from Halo Evolutions, who was, in fact, a Lance Corporal. So, who knows? There, there's a lot of, there's a lot of conflicting information, and hopefully someday 343 will set it right. But we'll see. Who knows, maybe the Halo 5 Essential Visual Kite or some crap like that. Or hell, maybe even Halo Escalation will actually clear this up. Who knows? It could, it could go that way. Um, and oh yeah, Edward Davis. Um, sadly, not much of a character, but he does his role for this game, I like to think. I certainly feel... I, well, I don't want to spoil it. I'm sure most of you, most of the people playing, watching this have played, but I'm going to avoid... It. I, might, I, I might avoid spoilers. We'll see. If I, if I run out of things to talk about, then... <laughs> Welcome to Spoiler City, I suppose. Um, yeah. So, huh. obviously right now we're, we are on the moon, I believe, of Drathius V, a brand new planet which was create, which was basically created just for this game. Not that that's a bad thing. Um, you know, new locations and all that. Yeah, look at that. Huge, spark, huge covenant invasion on the planet down there. They sure have a lot of wraiths. Oh, that one just got destroyed. Ha! Take that, you covenant bastards. Quickly, men, to the extraction point. Yes, Miss Palmer. Yes, I am Miss Palmer. That is why I have such a manly voice. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Oh boy. There we go. Already on to half already halfway through, more or less. Oh yeah, I gotta love these little quotes at the beginning of the level from various random UNSC personnel. I know, it just adds a little little not much, but just a little something. I don't know what that something is, but it adds it. It's it's there. It's it's it it's in there. It's it's a part of the thing. I'm just rambling now. <laughs> oh god. Well, one thing we could probably comment on is the player is the uh, character models in this game. Actually, a lot of a lot of the assets in this game, but especially the enemy models and the and the AI models. Actually, let's talk about this level first before I start rambling about random shit. Oh my god, the Wolverines are back. This is something that people, I at least some people, especially the the fans of Halo of the Halo Wars game, um, have been asking about. For, well, ever since Halo Wars, you know, are we going to see some of these, uh, these vehicles and weapons or and whatnot, you know, all this technology that was is only really seen in the one game, are we going to see that anywhere else? And Spartan Assault basically says, yes, yes you are. Which, that, that was just, that, that was just nice by 343 to, to include some of the Halo Wars stuff, I mean... You know, I expect to see hornets, I expect to see falcons, I expect to see uh, scorpions and whatnot, but I did not, you know, I mean, I kind of expected seeing the wolverines coming into this because they were part of the preview, but to see them at all was just, was, was just nice. It was a nice addition to get some of that expanded, uh, that expanded universe tech into a game, even if it's not really a main entry game. But you know, hopefully that bear, hopefully that you know. Ah, God, <laughs> I keep like keep forgetting my words as I'm speaking. But no, um, hopefully this is indicate um, indicative. That's the word I'm looking for, of what we might see. Halo, you know, future main entry Halo games. Let's see some technology that we only really seen in the expanded media or non main entry games. <laughs> Or I should say, perhaps non-shooter games. It's like later, uh, not one. I don't think it's in this first operation, but one of the later ones. We actually get to drive a grizzly tank too. Something again, only seen in John in uh, <laughs> Halo Four. That was gonna Halo Wars. Go ram it. <laughs> um, um, sort of a specialty vehicle, supposedly worked out. You know, the pet project of uh, John Forge, one of the main hero characters in that game but i guess his i guess the unsc eventually caught wind of his idea and uh thought hey this is pretty good it's a pretty beastly tank and yeah it is it was a lot of fun in halo wars and it's a lot of fun to actually get to drive it yourself in uh in this game anyway i was gonna i was gonna talk about the um the the assets in this game many of which i'm sure people have thought are or believe are recycled from Halo Wars and it really does look like they probably they might be. I can't really blame 343 for doing that per se, just something interesting to note. I mean many of the environmental assets are not recycled at all, just you just stuff like, you know, this Wraith, uh, the enemy and allied AI char or um, character models. All of them very similar. Obviously, updated textures. Maybe even some. Maybe even some updated polys. Who knows uh, if they made any major updates to the models, or if they just left them as as were. I do find it weird that they didn't really update the textures on the elites. They're all still purple, as they were in Halo Wars. But you know, a lot of the other ones are nice and yeah, you know, orange grunts and. Uh, not purple jackals. I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Ah, Wraith battle. I will spit my goo at you. Haha! -ha, I win. What did I win? Whatever. Oh, that one's not. A, that one's not a. Not an enemy. Not yet. Stop firing at me! I just want to be your friend. I just want to be your friend. Also, stop popping up, you assault ops. I don't care. 
Anyway. I was talking about something just a moment ago. I don't remember what now. Oh, oh yeah, I was talking about the models, and I was going to go somewhere with that, but I honestly don't remember where I planned to go with it. Which is unfortunate, because I'm sure I had a pretty good spiel about it. Oh. Another nice addition that we haven't seen since we didn't really get to see these in Halo uh, Halo 4, the anti-air wraiths. Those are back. Those are always a fun to pilot if you could uh, exploit the glitch in, uh, Halo, in Halo 3 to pilot them. Which is, uh, whenever I play that with my friends, we always try to exploit that glitch because why the hell wouldn't you want to play, wouldn't you want to, you know, drive one of those things. Beastly as hell. Maybe not very good against, against air units, but... Definitely good against uh, regular units. Yep, and there's part four. Yay, one more part before I have to stop bullshitting. <laughs> oh, God. Hopefully, yeah, you know, uh, hopefully I'll have a better plan. As these go on, I'll get better at talking about these. Uh, like I said, this is my, these are my first, this is the first time I've done this sort of thing. So, I can, I get. Uh, oh, I just blew up my turret. Well, that sucks. I I uh, I have become error. We'll see how this level goes. I've never actually played it without the turret before. Usually, I always do have to go, or usually I do always go through with it. I could always grab the turret down here. I don't know if it'll be as fun. Yeah, what the hell? Why not? What the hell was that guy doing? You were just going in circles. That is not how you do. That is not how you play the game. I could use some enemies to shoot. No, it's not. No, they're not hostiles. They just want to give you hugs. Hugs with deadly and radioactive plasma. Let me hug you, my dear friends, with my shotgun. Hugs for you. Hugs for you! Hugs for everyone. Feel the love. And sprint. Ah, yes. Sprint is back as an, as an armor ability for this game. I guess it's before they got the permanent sprint module integration. Or something like that. Yes, I am just making shit up. Let's get an assault rifle in there. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Ah, Elite, you get extra hugs, because I love you the most. Oh, you know what? That reminds me of so that reminds me of something that has definitely plagued fan, you know, um, the minds of some of us lore lore fanatics for a while. Um, ever really, ever since this game was announced, is the exact relation of this Covenant faction to. The Covenant faction seen in Halo 4. You know, are they an offshoot? Are they completely unrelated? And, you know, obviously some of them eventually join up with Jewel and Dama's Covenant if they aren't already part of it, because you have characters like Parg Vol, um, who is one of the... He's mentioned in here. He's never actually seen. But it does kind of explain, you know, explain the line in Spartan Ops why Sarah Palmer knows the name Parg Vol. Excuse me, Parg Vol. Kind of starting to slur my words a little bit. I'm getting dehydrated. Note to self, bring water. Anyway, um, but no, yeah, so, you know, in this one, the, the leader is called Mergvul, so obviously some relation to Parg. But, you know, are, you know if they're like some offshoot branch of of the of, uh, Jewel and Dama's Covenant, or if they are completely unrelated, is, is unknown at this point. Yeah, I'll take that, good sir. Mega Hugs. Mega hugs for all. Oops. But anyway, hopefully three. Oh, that's another thing that I hope gets you know explained or expanded upon in some future media. You know exactly what all these di you know the relation between all these different uh, covenant factions. Oop. Wow. That kind of sucked. <laughs> well, on the bright side, I get to use the turn again. Hopefully without destroying it. Do, 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 let me to the turret. Who wants a hug? Hugs for you. Hugs for you. 
Hugs for all and hugs for me. Oh, overheat. You know, that is one thing I do not like about this game on the console is the overheat and uh, and uh, kind of a lack of uh, aim of auto or not uh, uh, aim assist on, on these turrets. It the aim assist is far too low for the um, for the difficulty with aiming. You know, it it, it works. The it's and the overheat I think comes a bit too quick too. And it works out fine on the P, on the PC because you got you know mouse and keyboard, a lot more precision in aiming, but. Here it does not. Yeah, I, I can I can hardly stay on a single target. I got I'm gonna go side to side there with this joystick. So kind of makes me glad I could never really get my controller to work with my PC when I was trying to do what back when controller support finally came out for the PC version. But yeah. Hmm. Oh, the Covenant are gone. Where are you? Oh, that's a fun glitch. Start shooting as soon as you get out of the turret. Hugs for all. I am just a. I am just such a giving guy today. Ooh. But no. So anyway, um. The whole relation between the two ty and the two covenant factions that we know of so far, and actually that brings that brings up you know whatever happened to the servants of abiding truth and who exactly are the covenant factions seen in uh, Halo Escalation? You know where where do all these fact these covenant factions keep coming from? And you know it, 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 is there much of a is there a relation between all of them? How separate or they might be? Perhaps more importantly, I want to know, and I, I know there are fans that want to know this too. Like, what are up with what's up with the brute covenant faction? The one that up into they never really give an exact date, but you know, before twenty five fifty nine, they were being led by the prophets until the prophets finally disappeared. Activate. Ah, a little too late there. Anyway, this is a sprint, but uh. Yeah, so there, there's a lot. There's a lot of these Covenant factions around. I personally like to think that this one might have been. I don't know when when the game was being was being released. I I always thought that this was like an offshoot of Jules. You know, while Jewel was hanging out in front of Requiem, trying to get it up to open, he had other fact. He had other small groups going around and checking out other Forerunner tech. So who knows? Maybe that is the case, but it doesn't really seem like it with the way with the religious leader they have here, Mergvolt. But definitely, at some point, the remnants of this covenant once uh, Parkvol is killed, or not Parkvol, Mergvol is killed, they eventually join up with Jewel and Dama. So. I'd like to, you know, they could be different factions or they might or they probably aren't though anyway gotta mention that hornet is huge and that's one way you know that this is these are halo war assets they had to make those assets jumbo sized in that game to basically due to the top-down perspective well anyway that has been the first less lore for halo Spar for uh, halo cannon in spartan assault <laughs> Um, let me know what you think. Any pointers that you guys might have or any suggestions are always welcome. So, uh, I guess that's pretty much it for today. Um, I don't know when this is going to get posted. I'm recording this on the 16th, so hopefully it'll be posted up the week, the, this weekend, but it all depends on how fast it renders out. Um, hopefully by, the end, by about this time, the... I guess that would be the 23rd next week or the 24th, perhaps. I will have a review of Mortal Dictata because I plan to buy, you know, as soon as that comes out, buy it and read it all up in one night, as has been my tradition lately. Anyway, this has been Halo, or <laughs> this has been Let's Lore on Halo Canon. I'm Toa Freak, and I'll see you next time, Spartans.